In this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a text caption image that you can use for your videos using Snapper. Hi, welcome to the Hidden Online Living YouTube channel, my name is Peter. And in this video I'm just going to go through the steps of showing you how you can create a custom text caption image to use on your videos when you're editing so that you can use them and create animations and so forth when you're editing your videos for your YouTube channel. Alright so quickly we're just going to get straight into it. This is going to be a short tutorial so it's not going to take too long to set this all up. Okay so I have my snapper dashboard open here and I've just opened up a blank canvas so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click on shapes and just let it load up and literally all I'm going to do is just pick one of these shapes here and once that's in Literally, I'm just all I'm gonna do is just actually drag it out, and I'm just gonna just play around with it until I get a size that actually that I like that fits in what I'm looking to do. And then the next thing, what I'm actually going to do is I'm literally going to duplicate this layer, and I'm just gonna leave it underneath or just leave it sitting over it. And what I can do is actually I'll rotate that just to actually add a bit more depth to it. But what I'm going to do with the second one is I'm going to change the color. So I'm just going to pick a nice pick a nice yellow and this one here actually I'm just going to do a custom color just to make it brighten it up a little bit. Yeah but that will do. Alright so when that's done there the next thing I want to do is I just want to add in just a text element. I'm just going to put in a, a, a little bit of text on this part and a little bit of text on this shape here. So what I'm going to do is hit the text button and literally just going to add in some body text and I'll just move that out of the way for the moment and I'm just going to pick a nice text font that looks nice that'll stand out so again I'm just going to increase the size of that so I'm going to make sure I put this on all in all caps I'm just going to hit the caps lock button on my keyboard so when I go to edit it so just going to move that there so we're just going to change that there and I'm going to put it as a white color okay so actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate that put it underneath actually I'm just gonna make this one here just darker so just that it actually has a bit of a shadow move that down to it right there and I'm just gonna move this one up and using the arrow keys on the keyboard I can literally change how it looks just to give it a bit it makes it a pop a wee bit more right so I'm just gonna duplicate that one again and bring this one down here but I'm just gonna change the text on this one so I'm just gonna pretty much do the same thing again with this here okay so again I'm just gonna duplicate that one so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate that slightly and again I'm just going to change the color of that one again so that it's that darker and again I'm just going to rotate this until it's roughly about the same yeah so I like the look of that there okay so with that there now highlighted what I'm actually going to do is now is I am going to download it but I'm going to make sure make it to high res PNG because obviously you'll be using it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download it but I'm going to make sure it needs to be a high res PNG obviously because it'll be, it'll be, it'll be scaled out in the video so at least it doesn't look distorted or pixelated but we want to make sure that there's a transparent background on it. So I'm just going to click on transparent background and then click on high res PNG and that will download your image. So the next thing all you want to literally do is just open the folder where you have the file downloaded. And then it's just a case of just renaming the text. Okay so that's the image ready to go now so you'll be able to import it into your video editing software so that you can actually use it. So hopefully you find this here to be helpful. If you have make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you're made aware of future content. And also feel free to share the video. Also make sure to check out that first link in the description and the pinned comment for a simple and effective step by step blueprint that you can use to help grow your own online business quickly and effectively. And again if you want to check out any other tutorials that I do on my channel make sure to check the on screen to see other tutorials that I create based around graphics and how you can use them to create the content that you need to grow your business. So I'll see you all in the next one.